So if the drink of fall is pumpkin spice lattes, then the drink of winter has to be eggnog. In this video, we're going to take a look at YouTube's most popular, pretty popular, I don't know, I would say. There's quite a few views on each of these eggnog recipes and um, we're gonna try them out. Welcome to the culture of cookery. So a couple things that I will say as a disclaimer. Number one, I actually don't really like eggnog. Like it's okay. Number two, I'm gonna be making half recipes because I think if I made full recipes, I would have way too much eggnog. And before you Christmas heads say, there's never too much eggnog, there is, especially if you don't like it. The first thing that I will say about this recipe is you can't actually access the recipe unless you are subscribed to their newsletter. So you need to just watch the video. Out of all the recipes included in today's test, ATK uses the most eggs with six eggs and two egg yolks. Yolks, I guess, add the additional richness. So according to the recipe, you're going to mix the eggs with the sugar while you heat up the milk. This is the first recipe that tells you to temper your eggs. And tempering your eggs is simply a cooking method that prevents you from cooking the eggs by bringing them up to temperature slowly rather than in one rapid swoop. Uh, there is a better way to do this, but we'll get to that recipe in a second. Then you add the brandy, vanilla, and um, ATK ops only for nutmeg. We'll see how it stands up to the rest. And then the frothiness in this eggnog recipe comes from whipping cream to soft peaks. No raw egg whites here. No alcohol, no problem. Reduce the whipped cream to one fourth of a cup instead of the half. Add a little fresh nutmeg on top, no ice, and drink as is. So in the interest of full disclosure, I don't think I let the egg mixture cool down enough before I threw in the whipped cream. That could affect the texture, and if it does, then I'll add a little bit more whipped cream, because a little bit more whipped cream is always good, right? Right. That one is done. Next one. Remember, half recipe. Next up is Joshua Wiseman's recipe. Now this seems like the recipe that's going to be the richest because of the amount of egg yolks, six in the original recipe, uh, with no egg whites. In his recipe, he intentionally wants you to take the eggs and the sugar and really beat them until they're aerated. That looks like mayonnaise. Again, like America's Test Kitchen, Joshua Wiseman's gonna have you take the hot milk and temper them with the eggs. Now you're gonna cook this for 10 to 15 minutes or until thickened. He says to go to 175, little bit too much. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I kind of like my eggnog a little bit on the thicker side. Unlike the other recipes, Joshua probably uses the most amount of spices and seems very generous with the ginger. This should probably be a good tasting thing. I like a little bit of ginger in my drink. To this one he adds unwhipped whipped cream. There's no addition of the egg whites and no kind of frothiness to, to name I guess. And we'll see how this one stacks up against the rest. Josh Wisenog. Two down, three to go, two down, two to go. Sip, sip, sip. Next is the OG Chef John from foodwishes.com. Now, one of the things that I will say off the bat is that Chef John is insanely practical. He doesn't kind of beat around the bushes, bushes, beat around the bush. Instead of tempering the eggs, Chef John opts to toss everything into the saucepan. There's going to be very few dishes, which I love, and it makes sense. Why wouldn't you just heat the milk with the eggs if you're going to heat the milk and heat the eggs anyways? I love it myself. So I have a little bit of a conundrum. The next part of the recipe involves raw eggs. I mean, I did some research and as long as they're pasteurized eggs, they should be okay, but you're always open to the possibility of something going wrong and I don't know, I just don't feel like it would be a good dad move. Let me know in the comments, is it safe to drink egg whites? I think I'll still just pour out a little bit of this creme anglaise basically. That's the plan, that's what I'm gonna do. Here we have adult version. Kids, a little bit of bourbon. I will say that as far as ratio of eggs, Chef John uses less, though he does use the same amount as Jamie Oliver as we'll find out in the next recipe. I'm thinking that this will probably be a less rich, less decadent eggnog, but who's to know? There we go. Okay, let's name these. The Last up is our guy Jamie Oliver. I don't know if you ever watch his videos, but there is something about Jamie Oliver energy that makes you want to cook. Now, Jamie Oliver differentiates himself from the crew by adding 
chocolate. I think it's a good play, like bitter, dark. One of the things that I found difficult as a Canadian is that all of his measurements were in milliliters, which I guess some Canadians do it, but cups just makes more sense to me, but that's a little whatever. Jamie Oliver steeps his milk in spices, which is a classic move whenever you're trying to make some kind of creme anglaise. And we'll see if you can actually taste the spices in the end. There seems to be so little in the amount of liquid that we have here. It does seem like there's going to be some interesting notes, especially with that cardamom. Heavy cream. Our egg whites. Some for the kids. This and the rum. There we go. So Jamie Oliver is now done in the fridge. One thing that I will say about the Jamie Oliver one is though, it creates a lot of dishes as you can see. I mean, more dishes than the any other ones. Let me know before we even taste any of these, which one would you have chosen and which one do you think is gonna taste the best? We'll see you tomorrow. So before we have uh, the homemade versions, there's the store-bought version. There's this company called Avalon. They have just really good milk products. <laughs> We're gonna taste what eggnog should taste like. Actually, that one's really good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. so you like it. This is America's Test Kitchen version. Before we do it, cheers. Cheers. This one was by Joshua Wiseman. Cheers. What do you think of that one? This one definitely a little bit more spicy, huh? This is Chef John's. Baby C's does not have the egg whites in it. Cheers. Oh. What do you think this is going to taste like? Cheers. Banana. I think it's going to taste like banana. This brown color is banana. Chocolate. There you go. Happy chocolate. Say goodbye to our friends. Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay, so we have our three or our four different lineups of the eggnog. Number one is America's Test Kitchen. And this is kind of the classic take. The only spice in here is the nutmeg, vanilla, and a little bit of brandy. Again, let's give this a quick taste. It's thick, but not too thick. There's a great balance of the kind of subtle hint of the nutmeg, the creaminess. The creaminess is not like overwhelming. It's not like you're drinking melted ice cream, which is basically what eggnog is. Can we just say it? It's like creme anglaise with some spices in it. As far as the alcohol, it's not like over the top. It's really kind of mellow and rounded. As far as balance, man, I would probably give that like an eight or a nine. Yeah, that's tasty. Next up, we had Joshua Wiseman's. This one had a bunch of cinnamon, cloves, ginger. I really like this one actually. There is a lot of creaminess to this one. It's a little bit thicker than I would say this one is, probably again because of the cook temp. Oh, yeah. It is pretty aggressively spiced. So you're getting a lot of hints of ginger and of, of cinnamon, so it is kind of spicy on the back end, but it definitely makes me want to drink some more. As far as the like rum to eggnog ratio, this is actually right on the money. It's not too rummy and alcohol-y, but it's not just like sweet. What do I give this one? Eight? This one's definitely higher. So, so far, this is, this is the order. Joshua Wiseman, ATK, the spice level. It's just like really, really calculated. Oh yeah. Chef John's, foodwishes.com, heavy cream, bourbon, whiskey, ground nutmeg. And then this one also had the raw egg whites in it which again, don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, here we go. This one definitely has more alcohol forward. Obviously you could back that off. I just went exactly as the recipe said, but cut in half. You get hints of the nutmeg, but it's definitely not as aggressive as this. And it's not as rounded as this. The viscosity of it is great. Creamy, decadent, but this one is definitely more boozy, and I'm not sure that I'm a huge fan of that. Lastly, we have Jamie Oliver's chocolate rendition of eggnog. So this one is kind of intriguing, again, because he didn't really cook the egg yolks and he didn't really cook the egg whites. You warmed the milk and then threw everything in, which is, again, I don't know. 
This is kind of surprising to me. I love the idea of dark chocolate and eggnog. It seems like it makes sense, but it is like a pretty bitter drink. I did go with dark chocolate, 63% cacao. Because the cinnamon only steeped in the milk, I'm not sure that I get the full gamut of spices that were used in here. As far as balance, it's different. I don't know. I'm torn. I really want to like it. I think it is better than Chef John's because of its originality and because of its chocolate flair. But this one is also pretty boozy. And for me, my personal taste, I don't love the really boozy drinks. Like it's just too much alcohol flavor. I want to be able to taste the eggnog. As far as ease to make, the easiest was Chef John's at the very beginning because he doesn't have you temper anything. Everything is basically in one pan. You heat the eggs, you heat the milk, everything's there. The next easiest would probably be America's Test Kitchen with just the simple tempering of eggs. You didn't really have to break out the entire spice cabinet to make it pretty straightforward. The Joshua Wiseman and the Jamie Oliver ones are the ones that are kind of tied. The reason being is Joshua Wiseman, of course, as he always does, there was a lot of spices that I had to break out and there was the tempering of the eggs, the getting of like cold water to cool it down. That one was a little bit of work. That being said, Jamie Oliver, there was way too many dishes at the end of this one. Like melting the chocolate, beating the egg whites, heating the milk, getting the egg yolks and the sugar all together. Like this one was a big hassle. And for me, when I don't have a dishwasher, like Ain't nobody got time for that. So these two kind of tied. Can I put them on top of each other? Ooh. So as far as ease to make, Chef John wins, followed by America's Test Kitchen, and Joshua Wiseman and Jamie Oliver capture third place kind of together. As far as Christmas cheer, which one gets me excited about Christmas and gets me happy to drink it? Uh, I would have to say that tie goes between Joshua Wiseman and America's Test Kitchen. It makes me think of socks, and books and uh, soup, not soup, winter things, snowflakes on the ground. Chef John's would probably be second. This one, again, Jamie Oliver's. This doesn't really scream Christmas to me. It screams flavored, exciting drink. If I'm going to award a winner overall, America's Test Kitchen for their eggnog fall very closely behind by Joshua Wiseman's eggnog. The balance is the thing that kind of really gets me. To make these ones easier, I really love the technique that Chef John used in just throwing everything together. You're gonna bring everything to the same temperature anyways. That might be one way to kind of lessen the dishes. I also like the fact that these two didn't have the raw eggs. Not that there's wrong, and there's probably some of you in the comments that are gonna go, you can drink raw eggs. Blah, blah, blah. I just feel uncomfortable. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I was raised. So I would give it to these two because they're both cooked. They both remind me of Christmas and both of them are so well balanced. If you have any comments or critiques, please let me know in the comments below. There's some of you <laughs> on the pumpkin pie video. You're very spirited and I enjoy that. I appreciate that. And remember that good food is meant to be shared, especially around the holidays. And if you're watching this at Christmas time, Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time. I need, I need a bottle of water. Hi, oh, hi, buddy. Can he have a drink of that? Baby O just woke up from his nap. So this is the kid version. You want to taste? Okay. See you later. Thanks, buddy boy. Woohoo!